Today we're making shrimp scampi. Now I'm gonna give you a couple different versions of the shrimp scampi. You got the plain shrimp scampi, then you got the South Sicily shrimp scampi, and then you got a restaurant shrimp scampi. This time we don't put the pan on. We don't want it hot the time to time. We want to turn the pan on now. We don't want the garlic browning too quick. So as soon as you put the pan on, we're gonna hit it with fresh olive oil. Right there, look at this. All right? You're gonna take your garlic. Now we squish the few, but I like the squishing sound. So I'm gonna do one more with a squish. The rest are already squished, save a little time. Pop them in there. All right, we want them to brown a little slower this time. The shrimp scampi is basically pretty simple. It's your white wine lemon butter sauce. But you can do any version of today's version besides the white wine butter lemon sauce. We're gonna do something with some veggies in it. You can put it over rice, you can put it over pasta. Uh, you can do anything. So today what we're gonna do is the garlic is already warming up a little bit. We wanna put our shrimp in there. So this is for one order. You double everything up. We're gonna do eight extra large shrimp. You saw it sauteing those. very quick so you want to make sure you watch them real careful you're going to turn it around one time see how it's getting all pink already very quick so our version today is going to be a little bit different i like crushed red pepper and the oil i like when it cooks in there depending on what you like i like mine a little spicy all right so First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with zucchini. Nice, nice slices of zucchini, real thin. I like zucchini. That's not the typical version now. That's the South Sicily version with the zucchini in there. Same thing. I like artichokes. All right, I give them a little break. Pop those artichokes in there. Look at that. I like mushrooms. You like mushrooms? I like mushrooms. We throw mushrooms in there. All right, white wine, whatever you like. You like Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, whatever you got in the house. You're not gonna hit it with a lot of white wine. You know, look at that. Give it a little flavor and let that cook down. And what you got is, remember I told you about the shrimp? You take the peels off, and then you're gonna boil it down in the water. We're gonna use that juice because we want the extra juice in there. You don't have peels on your shrimp. A lot of places don't have that. You could even use a veggie stock if you had to, or a seafood stock. Whatever you have at the store, just throw it in there. That's gonna give us a little bit of juice now to put over your pasta. This is about when you give it a little salt. What do you like? I usually do about a pinch and a half. Pepper, you don't need a lot because you already put crushed red pepper in there. You're gonna put fresh basil. Fresh basil goes in everything. Parsley, put it in there. And a pinch, only a pinch of oregano. This is a quick dish. Your husband, your wife gets home, you tell her you got something like this done. And right towards the end, right towards the end, you're gonna put a quarter stick of butter in there. You're gonna let that melt down. Now meanwhile, you got rice, you want pasta, you want to just put more veggies in here, whatever you like. You can do whatever you want, you're at home. All right, but we're going to do pasta here. We're going to do it with a linguine. Again, you wouldn't have put the mushrooms, the zucchini, the artichokes in here. That doesn't really go in there. But I love them. So who says there's any rules for cooking? There's no rules. You make your own rules up. Right about this time, you take your... The greenie off the stove. What I tell you about pasta, pasta always goes in with whatever you're making. You never pour the pasta on top of the, your product on top of pasta. You want to mix that in. I learned a new word back then. It's called marrying. When you marry your items together. So this way, when that pasta's in there, that flavor of the garlic, the oil, the oregano, the parsley, the basil, Everything is in there. Look at that. Woo! And that is perfect. Somebody give me a fork the other side. I need to try my pasta out. All right, make it a little nicer now. We're gonna make this pretty. You take your shrimp, you put them on top. 
Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. I got my zucchini, my mushrooms, my artichokes. That's my style, all right? You didn't want it over that? Get Uncle Ben's rice. You put it over Uncle Ben's rice. What's the difference? All right, we're going to try this over here. Now, some Italians, they use Parmesan cheese. I don't use Parmesan cheese, but I do seafood. So my seafood is always, always plain. But you can use Parmesan cheese. Oh my God. One, it's so freaking hot. Number two, it's delicious.